Hey guys, uh, I'm going to change the starting music really quick, and I just want to make sure that works first. Okay, I'll figure it out. Anyways, we're playing Cruel King and the Great Hero. I, I want to get Testament's theme to play as the starting music, but I, for some reason, it comes up as a graphic, not as a song. Whatever. We got we got Dragon Dad to deal with. We don't have time for such trivial matters. Plus, we got like the sus bat hanging out with us, Cybat. I, I don't know if I like the cut of their jib. Mostly because their silhouette kind of 
kind of showed up as being the evil guy. But you know what? They're with us right now anyways. We gotta make them strong. Do I have any other quests? The Lost Snow Bug. Okay, we got a lot of side quests to go to in the Monster Village. Let's go check everyone out. Hi! Something happened in Honey Crystal Woods, huh? Hopefully it's nothing too dangerous. Uh, the, the bears and the bees are at war. I think it's pretty dangerous. Thank you, young lass. Ideas, back at it. Now more fervently than ever, I may add. Damn straight. Hey, can you, can you blacksmith something for me? No? Okay. Hi, madam. Oh my, miss you. How do you do? Say, are you free by any chance? How do you do, madam? Tonight, uh, if it's help you need, I'm all ears. Is something the matter? Uh, perceptive as always, miss you. Something vexing just occurred to me. I'm beside myself, let me in here. Sure thing. You see, the sheep tribe owes a number of businesses in the village. Are you familiar with business rivals? Are they the same thing as any other kind of rival? Not them, they're not. They're constantly harassing my family. They've caused us so much pain. The Wolf Tribe is an unruly bunch, yet they claim they protect the village. Fight business with business, cowards! Deep, deep breaths, madam. Uh, pardon me. Now, miss you. Last night, those blasted thieves made off with the most precious keepsakes. Horrible! They're beyond forgiveness! The mere thought is infuriating! Uh, miss you, I have a favor to ask you. Oh, um, sure. You want me to bring back the stuff they stole, right? Preposterous! That alone will not suffice. We must infiltrate their territory and utterly annihilate their prized possession. Wow. Mad Madame plays hardball. <laughs> I, I don't think... I've already sent another agent of chaos to rendezvous, rendezvous with Felicia for further instruction on your mission. I leave in your hands, Miss You. This is a deserved penance. Now crush those brutes, those blasted mongrels. Ugh! Uh, uh, all right. Anyways, I'll go meet up with Felicia. Okay. Is is that really an act of kindness? I I might suggest that you put that under an act of chaos. Why is it? Hey, don't walk. Are you you by any chance? My name's Felicia. I serve as Madame Seventh Aid. Oh, so you're Felicia. Hey there. Yep, I'm you. I'm sure Madame already briefed you, but let's go over it again. Uh, hold on just a sec. When I spoke with her, she got super mad and told me to damage the wolf's property. It feels wrong. I can't do it. Yeah, I expected as much. I get it. Actually, I was thinking you would just take back what was stolen you. Uh-huh. That's it? I also disagree with using such destructive and vengeful methods. Keep that between you and me, okay? I only want to recover the prized items in Madame Goldie's collection. I prefer if her belongings could be exchanged over civil conversation, but... Those wolves won't hear it. Goldie's collection was taken by the wolves and hidden away in one of the many treasure chests. It'll definitely be in one of them. Can you retrieve Goldie's collection from the wolves, you? If that's all, then sure. I can get it. I'll search the wolves' treasure chest for Goldie's collection. Thanks a bunch. Good luck out there. And while I distract them, she's gonna go cause chaos. I picked up all my stuff. Sorry for blocking your way for so long. Eh, it's no worries. It was a big mess. Colette's got something in mind for what she wants to be when she grows up, you know. What, what do you want to be when you grow up? 
call that. I see, well, I'm glad to hear Nathan was pleased with it. If you ever get anything else, don't hesitate to check in here. Okay. I, I, I'd like to make a purchase. Thank you. Okay. So I got no healing items whatsoever. So let, let's buy a few of those. A brand new pot! Hell yeah. What's up, Wolf? The Redness. Oh, good day. I'm sorry, but I'm quite busy right now. Ah, fair enough. Uh, that's where the human village is, but what's up? Hey, you there. Hey, human. Ugh, human. Uh, do you mean me? Do you see another human? I don't know your name, so I'm calling you human. I, I don't care about your name, so I'm gonna call you Wolf. I guess there aren't any other humans, but my name's you. Nice to meet you. Are you even listening to me, human? I don't need your name. Whatever. That doesn't really matter. I'm Quester, the gatekeeper. You're helping others in need. Well, aren't you? Yep, that's right. Anything you need, I can help out. Me. Here. Here. Right here. Me. Me. I'm in great trouble right now. Hey, listen to me. B bother to learn my name first, and maybe I'll give you some assistance. I've been so bored lately. To break things up a bit, I went to the forest the other day. Unlike you, puny humans, I'm tough. Anyway, I kept going, though I couldn't reach the other side. Then I saw the thing laying on the ground. It looks like it might have been left there intentionally. Human, do you know what this is? Bet you don't. It's a message bottle. Let's exchange information with complete strangers. Well, I found out after Grandfather Owl told me, but it's a prize. I'll tell you. Mm. Sorry. I'll tell you that much. Inside the bottles of paper with some message scribbled on it. Most important parts. Couldn't read it at all, so I went to Grandfather Owl. Being the old hoot he is, he figured it out. Not sure what tribe the writer was from, but apparently it says, Who are you? Of course, I knew what exactly to do. Message obviously was addressed to me and only me. I just know it. So I figured I'd reply to him. Except I realize I have no way of writing back. I'm a fighter, not a thinker. Anyhow, my, I was racking my brain over this, and I remember the village weaver, Misty. She's as good a weaver as they come. She's in a loop with the villagers. Asked her about what... Oh, uh, sorry. I asked her about the writing. God, I cannot speak today. Just as I expected, Misty told me about the heart embroidery that weaves into the fabric. Even a greenhorn like me could do it. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself, except it's kind of complicated. Well, all I need to know is that it was a way to speak my mind. Lo and behold, I've got no way to take time off my guard duty, so my hands are dead. Wildcat's been up to no good, and we're short on hands as it is. Well, forget the nitty gritty. At the end of the day, I was thinking about how I can make time for this message business. And I heard from you, uh, I heard about you from the blacksmith. That you were helping people who needed it. Fate's on my side, I figured. Human, I need your help. The name's you. <laughs> it's a small favor, sort of, to ask. You gotta see Misty. Ask her about how to get heart embroidery. Once you get all the materials, bring them straight to me. Now I mean beeline back to me so I can get working on the heart embroidery. Okay, you got it. I can ask Misty about the materials and bring them back to you. Bingo! Can't leave my post, so I need you to do this for me. Hope it isn't too much trouble. Hope it isn't too much trouble for you to eventually learn my name, Wolf, with a PH. The warehouse is dangerous, so don't go inside. What, what if I do anyway? I guess I can't. Damn. 
Let's talk to Pegasus. Oh, I'm feeling hungry again. Hmm, the smell. Little Miss, you came at the right time. What's wrong, Nathan? I'm so hungry, I've started feeling sick. Little Miss, can I ask you for a favor again? Of course, just leave it to me. What is it you want to eat this time? I have a hankering for something light. Now that I think about it, there's something I've always wanted to try. It flies and is awfully hard to catch. It's shy and skilled at hide and seek. Truly hot cuisine. What is it? Uh, is it a rare bird? Bzz. Try again. Here's a hint. It loves to hide in cold places. Nathan, is what you want to eat flying fish from Crystal Moon Hill? Ha <laughs> ha! Spot on, Harry. You really do know me so well. Uh, but it lives in cold climates. If you bring it back to the village, it won't be as fresh as fresh caught. That's what makes it so hot! Rumors say that it has an exquisitely light flavor to it. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, then we'll need to catch it somehow. It's timid, so it rarely comes out, and it scares quite easily. Uh, I've also heard that it likes to dwell in high places. Oh, how'd I catch it? Hmm? Hmm. No, I'm not suited for thinking. Does anyone else know of a way? Why don't we ask the inventor idea for advice? You'll know for sure. Okay, I'll talk to Idea. If you bring me a flying fish while it's still alive, Nathan will reward you. I guess Nathan will provide you with another re reward. You got it. It's an act of kindness by ha letting him eat a fish alive. Squirming and screaming down his pie hole. I, I think that might not be kind to the fish. Ah, oh, hello, lizard hat. Dude, same. Some sometimes I feel like that, too. Uh, okay, I see. You want to catch the flying fish alive? And you need my intellect to help? Yep, that's right. This is quite a difficult issue, yes. However, with the genius inventor, it becomes child's play, you see. I'll create a device for you to capture it alive at no cost to you! Uh, are you sure you don't need anything in return? Yes, yes! You just gather the materials I need to create the device. You got it. Leave it to me. What do I need? Well then! Let's draft a blueprint of the device and the materials I'll need, you see. It must be compact and account for atmospheric pressure. This goes here, that goes there. Good, good. Then combine these, connect them there, the blueprint says complete! Yeah! Now I know which materials I require, you see. Minus the ones I have, I need an egg-shaped bottle, an air stone, and a cooling stone, you see. Wow, you just need those three items? Inventors are amazing. Indeed we are, you see! I'm a genius, you see, so this is trivial for me, you see. I've seen the materials before, I've placed a map marker on the location I believe them to be, you see. Now then, I'm rather looking forward to your return, you see. Hey, sheep. Are those sick fo uh, foxes recovered from their illness? Turns out that pink flower did just the trick. Good. Okay, so where is the stuff that I need? Of course, I need to go to Honey Crystal Woods, but. Oops. World map. Yeah, I'll probably just have to wander around Crystal Moon Hill until I find it. Let's do it. To adventure! I know it's supposed to be Rabbit Rouser, like Rabble Rouser, but like, the first time I saw that, I read it as Rabbit Trouser. Like a rabbit wearing pants.
If you're headed to Crystal Moon Hill, bring equipment that protects you against the cold. Okay. I got a hot rock. I think. I, I do have the hot rock equipped, right? Okay, well, the chilled amulet. That works. So there's a spot there that I might be able to go to. Yes, the rock crab. Hey, nice to see you, Rob. Luckily, I can tell that we're in a uh, an easy area since it lets you run. There's the music. Jeez. It, it really took its time, didn't it? What's going on here? Ooh, double treasure. I got a phoenix down. And a fight. Sussy Bat doesn't have any skill. I got some fruit. And, oh, the air stone that I need. Nice. We have to create a device that will let us capture a flying fish alive. Thanks for the advice? Yeah, no worries. I figure if you can help someone, then you may as well. Alright, got the cooling... We're, we're just gonna be making a cooler at this point, aren't we? Okay, so I need to go over there, I believe. But I wanna I wanna visit our friend. Bah. Bah. Bark bark bark. Bah. Hello there, Missy. Hi there! Are you feeling better now, Miss Rocky's mom? Yes, I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for before, Miss You. It's because of you that my health has returned. Yes, it's because of you. Really? I'm glad. If you ever need help again, just let me know. Oh, Miss You, thank you, actually. I'm not sure if I should be asking this of you, but if I may. Of course, ask away. The other day, I saw Snowbug stray from its flock. It looked so lonely, I couldn't bear to see it like that. Snowbugs migrate every few months in big flocks to find new dwellings, and this is one such flock. They're very delicate, so when they get separated, they eventually die from loneliness. God, this game got depressing. That's awful. I need to return it to its family. Yes, I would love to do that, but when I called out to it, it gets scared and it runs. There's nothing I can do. It's so heartbreaking to know that a family's been separated like that. 
If you can, would you please leave that snowbug uh, back to its flock? Sure thing, leave it to me. I'll get that snowbug back to its flock in no time. Thank you, Miss Yu. I will mark on your map where you can find the snowbug. Please be careful on the way. Okay, so we gotta find the snowbug before it dies of loneliness. Where's Rocky? Is Rocky out in an adventure? Has Rocky returned to their normal co uh, coloration? There's generic un uh, unnamed fox cub. Generic unnamed fox cub. Uh, how about a generic unnamed fox cub? And... Coco. Coco gets gets a name because she's got the little hairpin. Mm, hey, butthole sniffing adventure! I, I can't do Aaron's high pitch voice, so I gotta I gotta make my own. Gotta find my own way. Oh, I don't have Rocky, so I don't have the line attack. I know we just said that we were gonna save some uh, some snow bugs, but not these ones. Apparently. These ones get to die. I won the fight! Okay. So I need to get the item from over there. But it also looks like there's an objective, too. There's also an objective down there. And I think... It might just be worth it. Those ones tried to bite Rocky. They have to destroy them. Exactly. Neat. Thanks to Saibat, the hanging treasure fell down. I wonder what's inside. Found 1,010 shells. Nice. And a reco Ooh, a recovery ring sounds fantastic. Restores 5 stamina every turn. Ooh. I think that's kinda kinda worth possibly getting debuffs. Eh, I do have to go this way. Game? Yeah, I got the sus bad. I'm like 80% sure that that's the bat from the, uh, that, that was silhouetted. Trying to organize against Dragon Dad. Maybe, maybe I run away from this. <laughs> that, that was a bit more than I was hoping for. That was more than I bargained for, yeah. prevented a, a needless death. Let's hope we can prevent my own needless death. You know what? I'm gonna do it by doing this.
Now the Testament's theme is out. I'm thinking of, uh... I'm thinking of doing a Guilty Gear ki uh, karaoke stream. But... The, the non-aspected karaoke stream was a bit more fun. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to plan another karaoke stream. But, uh... I'll just throw Guilty Gear songs in. Instead of theming it. let me teleport there just yet. I don't think I've unlocked that fountain. I know that the honeybees and the bears are at war, but like... We, we gotta help this. Oh. Wait, where, where's the family? Oh shit, is it all the way over there? How do I even... I guess I have to go that way. Hey, sheep. Ah, it's so cold, huh? You look warm somehow. Yeah, I got a rock. It's igneous. That means it's a lava rock. Don't don't you call allies? Th those are friends that you've now condemned to a horrible, painful death. I told you so. Did you listen? No. They are friends and will become food. <laughs> Not for you. I, I don't know what Dragon Dad feeds you. But I'm pretty sure it's not living, sentient, sapient beings. Elderberries? Nah, that's that's what he makes wine out of. Dragon Dad kind of. I I beg him for an elderberry wine kind of dude. Mushrooms? Maybe. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Dragon Dad feeds you, like, fish or something like that. Because we... Earlier on, we established that people eat fish. This is all a huge hallucination. Exactly. Well, let's do that... Get one more. There we go. I got enough. I got a bunch of money. Okay, so I need to go back down and around. But I also need to find the Snowbug family. Damn, these owls are tough. You know why they call it owl? Because of that. They say, ow! There's a shortcut here that can only be accessed from the other side. Okay.
Okay, so if I go down, back, then up. I should be able to get to the last piece of Idea's capture device. I wonder what can be learned by observing a monster's behavior. I don't know, you're one. That's a lot of snowballs. I don't know if I want to deal with that many snowbucks. Hi, Grandfather Owl. Quite an impressive feat, making it this far. Thanks. I, I literally just need your egg-shaped bottle. Scene for oh god. That that that's why you don't fuck with scarabs. They they will not mess around. Hi background dragon dad. Okay, this is a higher level area. Good thing I have the power of flame! And, I don't know, Saibat has a rock. Oof! They're pretty! Pretty dangerous, exactly. As we've learned, just because something is friend shaped doesn't mean it's friendly. That's Rock Lee's long forgotten sibling. Friendly. They don't fight, that's why they weren't in the show. I didn't watch Naruto. <laughs> I, I watched up to the end of the Zabuza arc, and that's it. Oh no, it's a Mimic! With a cat face, I guess. Oh, it's a treasure cat! Uh, I'm gonna burn you to the ground. Dragon Dead sets our sword on fire? Yeah. My attacks are doing nothing. Alright, looks like special skills aren't gonna- I, I need to tough this out. I got a feeling that Killer Bite is a one-hit KO with a low percent chance. Yep. There we go. Angel's Elixir. And a Strength Seed. Wow. Okay, so, what do I got? Uh, refills a lot? No, I don't want to use that. Uh, I do, however, want to do that. Because Saibat Cy is a bitch. They suck. But they're also part of my team, so I gotta, I gotta help them out. It's more of a utilitarian, I would prefer not to die situation, but they are the most basic of bitches.
When you look up basic bitch in the dictionary, uh, you won't find it, but if you look it up on Urban Dictionary, uh, you'll see a picture of Cybat holding a pink frappuccino that doesn't have lactose, even though they're okay with lactose. So glu I, I don't think I ever told you guys about the gluten-free bicycle lady that my uh, my friend Sabrina and I had to deal with. So, you know, working at the toy store, we sell bikes, right? So this lady wants a bike, and, you know, fine, sure, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you about bikes. So they're like, okay, you know, what size does my kid need? Uh, what kind of bike should I get? Like, what would be the best for them? Uh, and also, is this bike gluten-free? And we're like, e excuse me? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, my, my kid has celiac, and they can't do anything with gluten, so, like, does the rubber in the handles or, like, in the seat have gluten in it? And Sabrina and I just, we, we can't, we can't believe what we're hearing. <laughs> just, do, do, does this bike have gluten? Uh, no, no. The, this this bike isn't made of any type of bread or food grade material, so n no. <laughs> it was it was just the weirdest interaction ever. Like I I completely get being worried. It you know it was probably something completely new that they were dealing with. They they had never had to consider celiac before. But a bike. <laughs> I just, I, yeah. <laughs> you would understand a parent la asking about, yeah, like latex, absolutely. I need to defend. Because as we've learned, if you let the crab vibe, uh, that's this weak spot. Hoora! God, I can't wait until we play JoJo All-Star Battle on stream. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle has a story mode that basically just recaps all the parts. And what's going to be interesting is when JoJo All-Star Battle came out, uh, JoJo Part 8 was just starting. And now that they're re-releasing it, it's, uh, it's been ended since last year. So I'm really excited to see what they do to recap Part 8. Guess I can't go that way. Ah, uh, that's that's a lot. I'm gonna deal with it, but that's a lot. I have a feeling that Cybat's gonna die a lot in this playthrough. Oh boy! That flame slash did did a little bit. I'm I'm not even sad. If I'm being completely honest. Cybat had it coming for being how they are. For for trying to get in between me and Dragon Dad.
Luckily, I have an item that recovers 5 HP every turn. So these guys... As, as long as there's only one of them, they can't beat me. Alright, Cybat, you're... You're being real resource-heavy. And I can't go there. Great. So then I wonder if I have to go down there. Can I use my breadcrumbs? Uh, teleports you to the monster village. That's fine. Because we should have all the stuff that idea needs in order to make the device. So we're going to have to go back up there anyway. We also have to bring the snowbug back to its family. I don't know how we're going to do that. I have no idea where the snowbug family is. I see, I see! Hmm, what exquisite materials! I expect nothing less, Miss You. Really? <laughs> you think so? I I'm glad. Pardon my haste, but I shall begin right away! I can bear the suspense no longer, you see! The empty bottle shall be the base. Shake it about, reform the structure for the fish to enter, glue together, the return mechanism to secure it. All right, that should do it. Now just to place the lid and secure both the cooling stone and the air stone. This should take care of the airflow. I understand, you see. The cold air from the cooling stone and the air stone to circulate the airflow. Now let's see if there are any leaks. Ah, as to be expected of a genius like me, all it took was a single attempt. My genius is impalpable, you see. And lastly, We'll use natural energy to power it by converting the energy supply. Voila! Uh, that was fast. You're done already? You really are a genius idea. Only with my ingenuity will such complex devices be manufactured so quickly, you see. Thanks, idea. I'll try using it right away. Miss you, do listen carefully. I will now explain to you the capturing strategy, you see. Strad... Strategy? Yes, this device is merely to help capture the fish. You must choose a location to set it up, or else it will not work properly, you see. Therefore, go to this area and install it there. First, head to Crystal Moon Hill. Then, deep into the forest, somewhere high in elevation. Be sure to install it in the grass where the fish is most likely to hide. In the in the grass where with the f with, with 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 the fish. I I don't I don't think fish lives in li lives in grass. Fish lives in water. No, not, not, not in grass. <laughs> if it went swimmingly, you will return to find fish swimming in the device, you see. They're quite skittish, so once they sense you, they'll quickly flee into the sky. I see. Maybe he's thinking of sea- Maybe. They, they are flying fish. But that- that's even less in the grass. <laughs> That's... I... If he said tree, then maybe. So, do be cautious when approaching. Do you understand? It, it sounded pretty complicated, but... I, I have no idea what's going on, but sure. Then I wish you luck, you see. Thank you. I'll... I'm just going to have faith in Idea's genius. He's a he's a cute friend lizard. So, sure. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't think that counts as a fountain. That's too bad. I should have bought some monster repellent. I feel like in these low-level areas, it's probably worth it. Because, like, a single fire slash will unalive the crab.
I hope that this game does well. Is a cute, charming little RPG. Plus, I think it's only like 30 bucks digitally. I, I want so desperately to get the Dragon Dad plushie. Uh, Uh, let's see. Because it's an, it's an 8-inch dragon plush. It's $32.99 US. But shipping to Canada is an extra, like, 15 bucks. So it brings it up to, like, $60 for me. And as much as I love it, I, d I don't know if I can justify 60 bucks Canadian for for a Dragon Dad plush. So what if I go in from the bottom over there? Yeah. For some reason, shipping to Canada is absolute garbage. Maybe you should uh, ship it to my sister. I I was going to do that, but like, <laughs> I feel bad for using her too too much, right? Especially since last time I sent something to her, she's like, ah, don't don't worry about paying me for the shipping. So it's like, uh, okay. I just I I won't. I'll wait until I have a bunch of stuff that I need you to send me. So that's cheaper. That that's my biggest fault. The, the biggest character flaw that I have, I care too much. <laughs> God, even saying it facetiously sounds like such a dick thing to say. Oh, she would absolutely say something if, uh, if it bugged her. But it, it's more for me, you know? It's more my personal feelings on the matter than hers. I'm sure she's okay with it, but I feel bad. Okay. So where do I set up the fish trap? There's a fountain over... You know, maybe I should have just used the fountain teleporter. Uh, I am so happy we're doing Guilty Gear Mondays. Uh, from what I hear, the new story DLC comes out next month. So... We should be able to finish the Guilty Gear Strive story before that comes out. And just watch that together. And, uh... The story that's coming out... Uh, again, this could be wrong. I, I could have read it incorrectly. But I believe it follows different characters during the same story. So it, it's like the, the flip side. Like, like, what the hell... Testament and... I don't know. Testament and Faust and Elfelt. Or I, I hope they bring back Elfelt. You guys probably don't remember Elfelt from the, uh, Guilty Gear XR playthrough. But she was a cutie. 
She was like Jacko, but instead of being altogether sane, she just had an overwhelming urge to find love and get married. Her instant kill attack is that she shoots you with a bullet that makes you fall in love with her. <laughs> Couldn't escape. Alright. Then you die from love. Well, no, then, then you get locked into an incompatible marriage, and it doesn't go very well, but no one has the heart to try and let it go, so... You just dwell in despair until the end of your days and die in regret. That's Elfelt's instant kill. I don't want to deal with this shit. Drift Ice. What else is going on over here? Oh, this is where they live! Whew, I made it. You made it back to your family, Mr. Snowbug. Don't wander too far off from them again, okay? Bye-bye. I love you. All right, we have to go back to Rocky's mother now. I'm sure I can make it. Alright, have these things been following me? No. This is a different group. Oof. I don't know if I can handle this. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? We're, we're going back to the monster village. Plus, I can go and buy some more. Well, actually, it's probably worth it to get the healthy fruit now. No, I want to get 10. I'm going to be healthy as fuck. I do want to see the blacksmith, though. I want to see if I can get a better sword. Because I, I am not hitting things as hard as I should be. Nope. Hey. Now I guess I'll have to deal... Do you have any new, like, equipment or something? No. Random stone, normal cloak. Thank you. 
Well, I guess we'll go back to uh, Rocky's mom and see what's up. Quester allow me over there. No. Too bad. I thought that since he gave me a quest, he was gonna, like, let me go past him, but nah. Maybe after I finish this quest. Ideas are flooding in my mind now that I've shaken up my slump. Yes, yes. Miss you, you have my gratitude. Good. I'm glad. Now you owe me one. Nah, I'm not going to hold it against him. Idea really broke the trope of the, the asshole genius, huh? Because, yeah, I Idea is very secure in the fact that they're a genius. But, like... They're very kind and giving. They just want to be recognized, and they don't care if they, uh... If they get compensated for it. trying to figure out when I need to go apartment hunting. I want to go in April, but I don't know when. I could also just go in May. I'm not in too, too much of a hurry. Maybe if I go closer to the date that I'll actually be staying, it'll be better. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yep. Because if I go in May, then that's June, July, then August. I'd be moving in probably in August. Plus, I'd have to see everywhere to see what the new recording set is going to look like. Did I want to find work code to school? Oh, work close to school. Uh, so... I have been fortunate enough to be able to save up enough money to only have to focus on my studies while I'm in school. So I'd probably, I'd probably want to find work close to school if I need to, but I'm hoping that I can make up, like make enough money from streaming to pay for cell phone bills. And then hopefully during school I get work in my industry. Uh, essentially, what I'm going to do is when I feel comfortable enough to put it out there, I'll open up like a Fiverr or something and start doing freelance voiceover uh, while I'm in school. And then that way I have some practical work that I can do while I'm learning. But we'll see. It it's very hard to get voiceover gigs when you are just starting out. 
And, uh... I mean, chances are I'm gonna be doing commercials, mostly. Welcome back, Miss You. How did everything go with the Snowbug? Everything's okay now. I got it back to its family safe and sound. Mr. Snowbug was really happy to be back. Oh, Miss You, that's so wonderful. I'm glad to hear that that Snowbug was able to return to its flock. It's important for family to be able to be together. I'm glad you were able to reunite them. Ah, that's right, Miss You. Please, take this as my thanks. Yep, I'll get- I hope so. I, uh... I'm not necessarily an expect the worst, uh, and hope for the best kind of person. But, like... That's the industry I'm in, right? <laughs> huh? Are you sure? It's alright, please take it. It's a lovely thing to see a family made whole again. Thank you ever so much. I got an- Aww! Fox Mom made me a coat! I'm gonna wear it forever. My defense will be lower, but... That's fu Actually, you know what? As much as I don't like Cybat, they die a lot, so... <laughs> okay. So, we dealt with the whole thing over there. Which means we need to go to that little exclamation point up there. Because that's probably where we're going to catch the fish. See, the, the thing that I'm hoping for, in terms of voiceover, is that it takes them long enough to make JoJo Part 7 that I have a shot at auditioning for Gyra. If I could audition to be Gyro fucking Zeppeli, I'd be happy just for the opportunity. I wouldn't, like, even if I didn't get it, whatever. would be the ultimate, like, the ultimate turnaround, where I made Arena based on Gyro, and then now I'm the voice of Gyro. <laughs> God, that would be perfect. I want, I want to will that reality into existence. press the button to look to the map, and I, I thought that was a very weird animation for looking at the map. I was gonna take care of the raccoons first, then I realized they're gonna call their allies anyways. I may as well grind the experience for Cybat. That's right, Fox Mom gave me a coat that makes you cold. <laughs> 
there we go. Just by hanging out, you is back to full health. Ah, oh, and I got tons of healthy fruit. I mean, it presents itself as a green apple, but that fruit could be anything. Could just be like a big old grape. God, I, I'm taking a look at this plush, and I'm considering asking my sister if she'll mail it to me. It's a... It's a friend. That being said, probably shouldn't be buying stuff if I'm moving. I still have to go purchase, like, household goods. I, I don't have any pans that I can take with me just yet. <sighs> Plus, there's an extra sales tax in the, uh, in the new province that I'm moving to. So, it's, uh, extra cheap if I just pick up a bunch of expensive stuff here. They all want a piece of you. Ah, that did not do much. Definitely gonna have to take a break at the fountain after this. Or actually, I think I'm done here after this. Yeah, that's my last exclamation point here. Before I forget. Let's give Saiba a snack. Yeah, fuck it, let's mock. Let's do the freeze a laugh. Oh! doesn't really help if I if you do an AoE attack on me.
One more hit should do it. Maybe we'll even get a level out of this, because that was a couple of enemies. Nope. That's fine, though. We're almost there. to go out of the area then back in. Oh, this was the area where everything was blocked off. That's right. It's fine, though. We'll just uh, kick some ass. Just, just a little ass kicking. Then we'll be right back. Uh, yeah. I was debating whether I want to play Smash on the stream at any point, but I don't think I don't think Smash would be worth it right now. Cause everyone who's playing Smash is playing it like competitively, and I don't think I can handle that scene. <laughs> Maybe we'll boot up Melee and do the, uh, the story mode of that. I don't have Brawl, so we can't do the, the really weirdly robust story mode that Super Smash Bros. Brawl had, but... The Melee one was fun. I think Brawl's the closest we're gonna have to uh, a Nintendo All-Stars movie. Figure out what makes the uh, the shell grab tick. Hey, <laughs> you're gonna hate how spiky I'm gonna be. Not yet, apparently. There it goes. Now I have to wait a few rounds. Luckily, they're staggered, so this guy's gonna be hit first. And then while that guy's still hanging out, we can just decimate this guy. Ah, oh, great, I got a hot compress. I was gonna say that you popped by Canadian Tire while she was fighting, but you guys don't have Canadian Tire. He even says so in the name. Here in Canada, we have like all the hardware stores. We have Lowe's, we have Rona, we have Home Depot. And we got Home Hardware and Canadian Tire. I'm pretty sure Home Hardware is a Canadian chain as well. Alright, let's see if the trap caught anything. Or if I have to go reload the area entirely. 
Hey! That means we can go use my magic breadcrumbs. Oh, was Nathan this way? Yeah, he was. I'm also gonna pop a quick save. What are you carrying there, little miss? What could it be? What could it be? Wow, you really did catch the flying fish alive. Outstanding. Well, let's not hesitate. Let's dig in. Mm, I'm so hungry. Huh? You don't need to cook it first? Cook it? No, no. Eating it raw is how you're supposed to savor it. Come on, you guys. Dig in, too. It, you work pretty hard to deliver this to you, Nathan, so you should enjoy it yourself, Nathan. You'd like that too, right? Uh, you, you must be hungry, Nathan. If Nathan is that hungry, then he should have it all himself. Besides, I caught them for you. Ooh, may I? How kind of you two. I'm graciously moved. Guess I'll just help myself. Uh... Uh, Nathan, how is it, the flying fish? It... It's amazing! Oh, you two, this is the ultimate hot flavor! It it has no taste whatsoever! What? No taste. And it doesn't smell either! It's divine! I never knew a tasteless fish existed. This is a gourmet find. I moved! An exceptional ultra-light flavor! The rumors were true, as it is. I can eat my fill. Haha. <laughs> So long as Nathan's happy, then all's well. I'm glad. Oh, that's right. Here's your award. Thank you for granting my wish. Yay, thank you. Let me know when you're hungry again. Yeah. I got a honey charm. Ooh. Damage taken is halved while sticky. I mean, I feel like Cybat's gonna be my tank, so may as well. Because they've got the mock skill. So having a taunt and great defense is gonna be, well, great. Okay, what do I got in my scrapbook? I need to go to Honey Crystal Ruin. Sorry, Woods. I gotta visit Misty. And I need to go to the hillside. Oh, I thought the wolves would be here. Okay. Where's Misty? Okay, to the south where the lizard was cleaning stuff up. What's up, Colette? Colette's got something in mind. Okay, she... Good, good job, Colette. Look at that porcupine with the bow. Uh, so busy, busy, busy. Oh, I'm in trouble. What do I do? Ha! Huh. Big, big, big trouble. Please help me. It's so busy, so busy. Anyone will do. Uh, so busy, busy, busy. I need someone. Uh, what's wrong? Huh? Haven't seen you here before. Who are you again? My name's you. Nice to meet you. Oh, how courteous. We're the Seamsters, Ned and Nary. I'm Ned, and this is... Nary, but more importantly, we're in a bind. A huge bind! We won't be able to make the delivery! What delivery? Hey, hey, you're getting ahead. Way too ahead of yourself, Nary. Don't trouble the girl. Breathe, Nary. Breathe. This isn't the time! We have to hurry! We really, really hurry to finish the Star Festival Maiden's costumes. No time. That was much more concise, Mary. My, all that yelling must have tuckered her out. She's still standing, and it's likely because she's worked through the night. Aw, she's snoring. Do you two need help? I'd love to lend a hand. I'm helping others in need right now. Goodness, do you mean it? Uh, we'd, we'd love your help, you. We're in so, so much trouble. 
Miss you, have you heard of the Star Festival? Can't say I ever have. It's a big, huge festival in the village. Two maidens are chosen by the tree in the plaza to represent the Star Festival. At night, when the stars are near, we give each other Star Festival star bits and watch the maidens sing and dance. Before the festival begins, we make the star bits from the honey in the honey crystal woods to exchange, Monsieur. Uh, well, I'll spare you the details for the time being, but our job as seamsters is to make the costumes for the maidens. We want to start making the costumes, but the materials are so very rare. So special. Uh, without them, we can't. What materials are you missing? First, we'll need the base fabric for the costume. We need three bundles of silver hair to start. But only some monsters carry the silver hair. So it's not, walk of, uh, it's not a walk in the park to get. Okay, so I just have to gather three bundles of silver hair from certain monsters, right? Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, I marked the places on your map where you might find them. I'm counting on you, monsieur. Sick. Oh, welcome. What can I do for you? Hi there, I'm you. Are you Miss Misty the Weaver? Yes, I am, young lady. Please, just call me Misty. Okay, Misty. What a friendly little girl you are. Now, what brings you here today? Right, the gatekeeper, Quester. I uh, want me to come and ask you about heart embroidery. Quester is busy, so I'm here to ask how to get the heart embroidery materials for him. My, I presumed he wasn't interested in embroidery, but I was mistaken. He really does seem serious about it. I'll tell you about the heart embroidery. It weaves one's strongest feelings together to form a message. It's a simple spell with simple materials, thoughtful thread, and papyrus. Once you have those, you'll just have to focus on your feelings, then thread the thoughtful thread through the needle. The moment the needle touches the cloth, your hand will record your feelings to create the heart embroidery. Your hands will work by themselves, only stopping when the embroidery is... That sounds like a curse. That sounds like something I'd like to introduce into D&D. Uh, &D, where, like, you get embroidery materials, and you start sewing, and then you're cursed to not stop until you've recorded everything. That person will feel what you felt, though not quite as strong. The stronger your feelings, the more they'll feel it. The materials can be found in the forest. Bring them to me, and I can make the thoughtful thread. I'll need one bundle of epiphany grass and a gossip fruit that grows on ivy. I'll mark it on the map where to look. Keep an eye out for any dangerous monsters along the way, okay? While you're out, I shall cu uh, cut the cloth and make the beginner needle. And don't worry about payment. You speak with Quester about that. Sorry, I'll speak to Quester about that. So focus on gathering what I need. Do you get all that? Yep, I just need to get one bundle of epiphany grass and one gossip fruit, right? That's correct. Now do be careful. Hell yeah. Uh, that being said, though, I'm gonna have to end a little bit early today. I just got some cleaning that needs to be done between streams, so... With that, thanks for hanging out, everyone. I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying this game, and, uh... It, it's one of the ones where I feel like I can do everything that I come across without feeling like I'm going slow. It, it always feels like it, it's something fun and new to explore. Uh, but anyways, I will catch you guys back here at 8 p.m. Pacific for some Shin Megami Tensei 5. And, uh... Let's see who I can send you to. I'll send you to Zan. We haven't raided Zan in a while. Uh, if you guys don't know, Zen is... Well, he's a, he's a guy that I used to watch on YouTube. And, uh, he makes some really, really good content. Uh, I believe he's playing Far Cry 6 right now. And we'll catch you guys later. See ya!